the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for another day of worship. It's a great privilege to be alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our Bible reading for today is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 20, from verse 1 to 16. And our topic is titled, Be Generous. Be Generous. It is a fact that we are living in tough and challenging times. Many people do not have enough to keep body and soul together. And also several others are trying to keep or control what they have so that it can last longer. In the parable of today's passage, our master, the Lord Jesus Christ, spoke of a house builder who decided to pay his laborers the same wage he agreed with them, though they did not report to work at the same time. They reported to work at different times. Those who were hired in the morning got what the man agreed to pay them. They thought that those who were hired late in the day would get less than those who came in the morning. The house builder decided to be generous, especially to those who were hired late in the day, by still paying them a day's wage. It was not their fault that nobody hired them in the morning. If the house builder had chosen to pay them half or quarter of wage, it still would have been fine. He may not be breaking any law, but he chose to give a full day's wage out of his own generosity. Naturally, the laborers who were hired early in the day were not happy. In fact, they tried to blame the man. The man chose to do beyond the call of duty. He went an extra mile. You can help people beyond what they deserve or are entitled to. Employers can give bonuses out of their own generosity. Husbands can treat their wives beyond the call of duty. Wives can give their husbands such good treatment that they were not expecting. Children can go out of their way to make their parents happy. It is all as a result of generous hearts. Are you in a position to help, to help somebody or to lift up a brother or a sister? Do it cheerfully and generously. Look beyond your own situation. See the situation of the other person. You may be in need of one million naira, and a brother or a sister around you just needs a thousand naira only. You can help that person out of your own generosity. Giving a thousand naira may not seriously affect your goal of one million naira. I pray God to grant you the grace to be generous in meeting the needs of other people, even the church. I believe that God will help us not to lose this reward in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, the message is telling us today, do not be stingy, be generous. Do not be stingy, be generous. I want you to understand the fact that there is someone you are better off. Yes, there is somebody that you are better off. Even in this COVID-19, you can still be generous to someone. And as you bless others, God will continue to bless you through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday and have a fruitful week ahead. Be generous and God will bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.